Welcome to another episode of our Midwest Garden Pro Series. Today we're at our Midwest Natural Garden location talking about a combination that will add summer color while supporting our local ecosystem. In our display gardens, we have combinations suited for small-scale residential gardens, mid-sized gardens, and large-scale corporate campuses. This combination does get a bit larger, so it's best suited for a mid-sized garden space in full sun. All plants in this combination appreciate well-drained soils and can handle periods of drought. Additionally, all three plants are deer resistant and can tolerate clay soils. The base of this combination is Budalua curtipendula, or Cytoat's grandma. Getting about three feet tall once it has its seed heads, it creates a fine textured base that covers the ground and helps with weed suppression, making the combination low maintenance once established. It is also a host plant for skipper butterflies. June through September, you can enjoy the bright white blooms of Parthenium integrifolium. Tolerant of clay soils, wild quinine attracts a vast array of pollinators, including native bees, wasps, and beetles. Topping out around five feet tall, this native plant balances the fine texture of Budalua with large, bold foliage. Monarda fistulosa, or wild bergamot, adds some color to the garden, blooming lavender purple in the midsummer months. Depending on site conditions, Monarda can reach heights ranging from two to five feet tall, often reaching taller heights when planted in nutrient-rich soils. Not only does its light purple flowers attract bees, moths, and butterflies, they also attract hummingbirds. Looking to add some spring or fall color? This combination works great with spring ephemerals like Dodecathian median or shooting star for early spring interest or asters for some bright fall color. This simple three plant combination is a great example of how just a few plants can make a big difference, creating a beautiful space that supports our local ecosystem.